Hello everyone and this is Inayat Meer with my new video. In this video I am going to show you how to expand a hard drive from a domain. This domain is a DC domain controller. The domain controller name is dev.com. Running operating system is Windows Server 2012 R2. Currently I have a root drive with 60 gigabyte then I have an additional drive with 100 gigabyte. So I am going to expand 100 gigabyte to 300 gigabyte. It is very straightforward. You simply can change the numbers. Make sure you have your available room, whatever you are expanding into your physical hard drive. So it is taken from my physical hard drive. I turn off my workstation, actually my uh, server first. Uh, then I expand it. Now I can power on my server. So that's how you do because uh, once the server is on, you can do that one. So I am back up and running on my server. First thing I go on local servers tab to show you my host name and also my domain. So you can see my computer name and dev.com domain. The next is Active Directory Users and Computers Console. This console where I have created a VMware work, VMware admins group. So this group uh, should contain those users which I am going to add into my ESXi 6.5 host 1 and host 2. Currently, I am creating my last name account only. Let's take this account as a member of domain admins for now. Later on, uh, I will do customization, but for now, I am going to add myself into domain admins group. So, uh, we should be able to log into uh, ESXi server from uh, vCenter or from using uh, vSphere 5.5 client. So now uh, as you see my last name is a member of domain admins and VMware workstations group. I am going into computer management to finish my uh, hard drive X pension job. So now I have to extend my E drive from 100 to 300 gigabytes. So I'm using all available room. This part is done. So we do have now available room. So at this time I am on my iSCSI target window where you can scroll down to uh, tasks to create a new drive. So I'm going to make this drive under my e drive the name is disk one the size is 250 gigabyte i will use default option but before i am going to add my iSCSI targets so i have two esxi hosts so i'm using ip 192.168.1 dot 19 that is my first host i will show you that one too i will do the same for my second host which is 192.168.1.20 so these two are my targets at this time so we will uh, work on uh, sand storage section later on too just to let you know that uh, that is how you can uh, expand your drive and then you can use that drive to create a virtual drives uh, which you can later on for your own uh, hosts that could be some windows hosts whatever target you select actually you can uh, use it so here i am showing you my initiators so those initiators are my two ESXi1 and ESXi2 so I showed you my IP address so it looks like I'm all set this is the drive where I used my 250 gigabyte space so I hope you would like this uh, video I'm going to show you my next video which will show you uh, about uh, joining my two ESXi 
6.5 hosts to the domain uh, this domain which you are actually on right now which is a dev.com so i will see you in my next video right after this thank you bye